Hi guys, I'm Dirt back for some hockey in NHL 20. A bit tipsy, I want to practice talking to people. Well, talking to my mic, will, which people will listen to anyways. Um, while I'm playing some NHL and one of our friends in Colorado doesn't know much about hockey, so I figured I'm gonna just record a game and try to explain what's happening when it's happening to help him a little bit um, I don't claim to be an expert or anything and we'll see how it goes I'm not gonna get this graded just some practice and anyways won't have much to do with the SHL um, except that the Raptors are gonna play in it but I won't talk about the Raptors or the SHL as is just talk a bit about hockey so the Raptors we're gonna play uh, the Wilkes Bar Scranton Penguins um, not because Scranton is a popular place in pop culture recently but just uh, overall stats of offense defense and goalies are pretty similar so that could be that could be a good match so we'll go ahead and take oh we'll take the alternate jersey for this one why not it's so yellow and we'll play uh, oh, there's a lot of yellow there definitely not this one yeah that's probably better um, I'll just go with four minutes periods instead that should be game settings uh, no, three is not enough so four minutes um, hockey period is normally 20 minutes but going the fast way and there we go So basically, hockey is played with 20 players, roasters, 12 forwards, 4 lines of 3, and 6 defensemen, 3, three pairs, 2 goalies, a starter, a backup, and well, the goal is to score goals. I'm not gonna start at the very beginning. But here we are. Here we see records for the goalies 21 15 4 is 21 wins, 15 losses, 4 OT losses, GAA goal against average. So goal against average uh, from game to game. And the save percentage uh, basically saves on shots. Oh, there you go. That's a good one. There's a penalty already. That's a hooking one. So hooking happens uh, is called when you take your stick to hook the other guy or uh, to, to slow him down with your stick like that. So Pierre Olivier Joseph is out. So now we're on the power play for two minutes. That's a minor penalty as opposed to major penalties normally those last five minutes so right now we have two minutes on the power play before Joseph comes back um, so in on the while well, we're on the power play if we score uh, on a minor pen, penalty power play the power play is over if we don't it's two minutes um, you just saw them and then again right now they clear the puck you can't normally do that if I do it like that it's gonna be a nice thing so the only time you can throw the puck at the other end behind the goal line at the other end when you yourself are behind the, the red line in the middle uh, that's icing and we go back with a face-off in the zone of 
the team uh, who heist the puck. Penalty is over, we didn't score, two minutes gone. Alright, little unexpected break there. Someone needed to come get something into the room where I'm recording this. So let's just uh, resume the game. Let's see there. I'll take the puck. Try to get it up the wings to set up in the offensive zone. Flair wind is again playing uh, at the point. That's a weird thing. It's mostly you want to get either uh, powerful shots from uh, the blue line with the defenseman and hope someone in front will be able to deflect them that's what uh, screening is for in the FHM and shooting range for the defenseman or uh, you want to cir circle move the puck around like they just did try to open up space and take a shot from close in front uh, either in one of the two face-off circles Big circles in both offensive slash defensive zones, or uh, right between the two. And that's the ideal spot, which we call the slot. Here you are, Johnny Panda. Oh, that's a good cross ice pass to get uh, to the other side. They didn't shoot. I don't know why. Um, breaking out. A bit tricky. You want to go out of your zone fast, but you don't want to lose the puck. And you try to go out by the wings mostly because normally center is gonna be more occupied by the opposing team. That's Raiden and my press the wrong button, that's the tipsy part. 2 on 1 like that, I don't know why you would shoot. Uh, 2 on 1, almost 2 on 0, oh, so really bad choice of play there from the CPU. And obviously the goalie got the puck hold on to it so we're getting a face off on his side trying to get the puck again here get to the point trying to move it around i like to move be behind the net a lot because the net offers some cover from defenders didn't work well that time I also have a very position, uh, stick handling, puck moving, call it however you'd like, a uh, way of breaking out of my zone. Uh, lots of people will 
to go with passing, but if I can, myself, if I can, if that was a bad pass, if I can keep the puck and just skate with it, if the ice is open, I'll keep it. Oh, there's another penalty, we'll get to explain that one. That's a tripping, got a lot of those in my first stream. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You get your stick or your body sometime between the legs or under the legs of an opponent and he trips. That's another minor penalty. That's a bad shot. Yep, only one second left. I'm not gonna get there. there. So 20 minutes have been played. We get to our first intermission. Everyone gets to take break. And seeing the stats, well, they're pretty self-explanatory too. And penalty and power play minutes. See the difference between penalty minutes and power play. Um, there's been four penalty minutes attributed to the Penguins, but we've only played two and two minutes and nine seconds of those because one still currently on time on attack. It's position time in the offensive zone, passing. Uh, each time you try to pass, it's an attempt. So yeah, I think most stats you can find explanations on them uh, in the forums. So here we go, face off for the second period. We have switched switch side. It doesn't uh, look like it from the way the screen is showing. That's uh, preference but if you oh that was weird if you notice when I'll go back to the neutral zone uh, the player benches are on the other side and the Raptors logo in middle ice is also facing the other way in the first and third period your defensive zone is right next to your bench while in the second you have your uh, bench right beside your offensive zone so uh, changing lines is a bit more tricky in the second than it is in the first well in the first and the third period because you have to go all the way when you're in your zone to the other side here we are waiting for the changes to be over and passing behind our teammates and the net won't freeze it we'll keep it with the goalie try to go back pass with oh dirt me, myself, and I. That's a goal. Oh, that shirt does not go well on Big Dino. <laughs> so yeah, um, trying to take advantage or bad of a bad defensive positioning to throw the puck, pass it right in the slot, and the uh, jerk. Takes it on the 2 on oh, it's now 1-0 for us. That's definitely going on the highlight reel. That's great goal for me. That's a bad shot. <laughs> no one there to deflect that shot. But we get a face-off in the offensive zone, which not that bad, we can get the line change. And if we win the face off, we can still be a threat. Sadly, we don't. Let's 
see the other team also going in the zone on the left side always try to enter the zone unless there's a real obvious opening try to enter uh, on the other side going through the middle is going to be harder that's a good hit I just took no unnecessary violence, no elbowing, no charging, which would be taking more steps, more speed than necessary, or hitting someone in the vulnerable position. So basically you want it to be shoulder to chest or shoulder to shoulder to have a good hit. Another try for pass in the middle in the slot. This one was a bit behind. And that's the tripping I just took, yeah. Um, when you have a minor penalty coming, like this tripping, uh, the slashing we saw earlier, as long as the uh, penalized team doesn't touch the puck, the game will go on the team with the puck the team that will benefit from the power play will likely take out their goalie for an extra attacker you can always take your goalie out and get an extra player on the ice and well if the other if the game stops as soon as the other team touches the puck well there's not really really any risk in doing so the other situation where this is gonna happen is if you're back by one or maybe two goals at the end of the game uh, and you want to risk it all you take off you take out your goalie and uh, hope the extra attacker will make the, the difference in the offensive zone oh was busy talking didn't realize the penalty over there could have done better with Penda if I had noticed let's just get another face off try to reset this this play wasn't going anywhere. Chirolo there. Didn't have enough speed. Good interception. Brown's accuracy is really not that great as I've noticed for the past few games. He has other qualities, that's for sure. Good hitting, good screening. We don't see a Brown go in front of the net too much in NHL. I don't know what, what's the cause of that. That's basically his uh, his player type. So, end of the second period, we're up by one. Coach feedback is good. So teams will switch around. As you can notice, the logo facing to the right of the screen. Unless the capture is mirrored, I don't think it is. It's not really relevant. Anyways, what just happened used to be a violation like the icing, a two line pass. It's not anymore, it hasn't been seen since. Oh, briefly. It hasn't been since. Uh, 2005 
the 2004 and 2005 season was uh, completely uh, cancelled because of a lockout in the NHL and that's one of the changes that was that was made uh, before that if you passed the puck and it crossed any two of the lines red lines or blue lines on the ice uh, you would get called that doesn't happen anymore which makes me realize we haven't seen enough side yet that's still very much a rule though it did change uh, oh there it is I called for it I guess uh, so an offside happens when uh, you enter the offensive zone before the puck and then the puck gets in the zone and in the position of your team so if there's a Raptors player in the offensive zone and I just dump the puck in but he doesn't touch the puck that's not gonna be offside if he does that's gonna be offside of course if there's a Raptors player in the offensive zone and I come into the zone myself with the puck it's gonna be the same result if the first offending player gets out but another one had gotten in before that uh, even if the puck was before him so basically if player one gets in puck gets in player one gets no player two gets out gets in player one gets out and then player two gets the puck uh, that's still half side which i realize might not make sense uh, when spoken out like that for someone who's not familiar but that's pretty much the best I can do pretty out pretty hard to try artificially uh, create one because the AI will make it so this kind of situation doesn't happen We're still doing good. 1-0 uh, is not a great lead, but it's better than nothing. And we've been playing pretty solid defensive uh, play. It's a bit redundant, redu redundant as a sentence. Powerful shot there by Omi. Omi has a great shot, that's for sure. And Raven can't get it done. Oof, oof, that was a very dangerous pass. Close to the offside there. Just didn't manage to get the shot. Oof. Great pass again. Trying to lose it. They're gonna get momentum and take out their goalie soon. It's gonna be hard to defend against. Here's a breakaway. Went for the shot. Don't normally go for the shot in the breakaway. And even more true if you have as much space as the guy had. I don't know why the goalie is still in net. It's a one goal game. They have the puck in our zone with one minute to play. That goalie should definitely going now he's going now let's try to put in an empty nether uh, scoring in an empty net is not gonna count towards the goal against average of the goalie but it definitely counts on the scoreboard we get two goal lead 
And the game is pretty much over. Should we get this with Serueno? Let's just get the penalty in the end, because why not? Two seconds to go. He took out the goalie. That's not something that would have happened in real life, but that's the way the AI has been programmed. Well, that's about it. Uh, we won. And hope this was helpful. I did get some good footage of Colorado uh, scoring goals, so maybe that's gonna go towards any highlight reel I might put up and maybe it's uh, with good shutout. Only four hits for Colorado, that's not a lot. Bit too many, a uh, bit too much of penalties and uh, well shots and shots percentage uh, I took and how he read two only took one shot scored them face of percentage those are pretty basic stats um, ice time 29 is is okay for a defenseman it's a bit high only first pairing defenseman will play for 26 27 minutes and top forwards should play for 21 maybe 22 minutes so that's a bit high for chris brown who's a second liner um, and at the other hand <laughs> Um, our two goal scorers, the two players with the lowest um, ice time. This game has its quirks. If it's enough, got an assist. Goalies can get assists and uh, points, sometimes goals. That's going to be rare. So anyways, that's it for the stream, uh, hope it was a bit helpful, if not, it did help me uh, figure some things out myself, I'm still learning the ropes of this, so take care and see you next time.